if you were to ever head up to Brendam Docks, you'll see the dockyard diesel shunter Salty. Salty is known for being a jolly worker. He adores his work at the docks and gives a warm welcome to everyone who comes into the docks. But I'm sorry to say that didn't stop some steam engines from being cold with him as the poor industrial diesel found out when James arrived at the docks one day. Ahoy there mate, where's my train? And a good day to you too shipmate, your train is right behind me. I've just finished shunting the train into place, all in ship shape order. Now do me a favour, get your oily coupling off my train and get back to your treasure hunting. No need to be rude, me hearty. I'm just working and making the railway run to time. Yeah, so you can take the jobs away from us proper engines, which you are not. Also, get rid of your paint. You diesels look hideous and red. Steam engines. Especially me is perfect and red, which you shall never be. With that, James snorted away. Salty was hurt. He understood that some steam engines didn't like that diesels had abolished them, but he had shown that not all diesels were like that, and they just wanted to happily work just like any other type of engine. Salty had always taken no notice of these comments, but the way James came across to him had really hit him hard. Ignore that red bug, Salty! James is always a sour sod! Salty just gave a heavy sigh and purred sadly away. That afternoon, Edward arrived to pick up a delivery of fans to take to Natford. Hello, Salty. Oh, you do look upset. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing, matey. I'll feel better after a refill of fuel. Don't lie, Salty. James was rude to Salty all because of that steam and diesel rival rubbish, which really grinds my crane gears. Ugh. Why am I not surprised? James is often like that with diesels. Boca and Bear are the only exceptions in his eyes, but every other diesel he has his doubts with. I'd like to show him that I don't care for that nonsense. I just want to work with all types of engines, no matter if they are old and new builds in the rails of history. I know you'll get your chance, Salty. Give it time. James will respect you one day. In the meantime, keep being the warm, welcoming engine you are to everyone who comes to the docks. The trucks had overheard everything. They much preferred Salty to James and wanted to teach him a lesson. They started consulting with each other and started hatching a plan, till at last, yes, we'll do it when James takes a train from the docks. It was so fortunate that James arrived the very next day, as Boko was called away to help out elsewhere. He grumbled as he pulled into the dockside. I should be pulling passengers and letting people admire my lovely livery. I even had a wash last night, and now I have to smell like fish. I'll quit your whining. You're giving me a headache! You can talk cranky. You're at the docks all day. You should be used to the hustle and bustle here. I am used to it, but I'm not used to loud mouths like you! You what? Hold your anchors, me hearties. Here's your train, but I just need to... Don't you even think about trying to delay me, Rusty Red Buzz Box. I am heading off now and happily getting away from this dump. I'll dump big barrels of tar on you if I ever get the chance. Drop your anchor, matey! You need your- James whistled loudly as he could to ignore Salty. It would have helped if he had listened to the dockyard diesel and realised he was leaving without his brake fan. Shiver me axles! I must chase him at once! Nah, leave him! Let the simpleton make a fool of himself. Plus, gives you a chance to prove yourself to James if he runs into trouble. Salty soon realised where Frankie was coming from and went back to his work. Meanwhile, James was snorting and puffing as he left the docks. He was so distracted that he didn't realise that the trucks were giggling to one another in delight. They could put their plan into use. Five minutes past Upper Brendan, the line climbs. 
So when leaving Brendan, the engines must make sure to get a great amount of speed. James's head was stuck so far from the smoke box that he forgot this. So when he reached the hill, the trucks got the chance they wanted. Hold back! Hold back! Shut up and get moving! Come on! Come on! Try as he might, James slivered to a standstill and stopped. Oh, that's all we need. Miles, go and ask the guard to call for help at the station. The fireman did just that, but 20 seconds later came walking back very annoyed. We have got one stupid engine. Who are you calling stupid? You of course. You were such an impatient fool that we left the brake fan behind and the trucks have been holding us back. No wonder Salty told you to wait. If you hadn't been so nasty and listened to him, we wouldn't be in this mess. Salty was just marshalling trucks around when the dock manager walked up. James is stuck on the hill outside of Upper Brendam. Please help him out before the whole branch line is behind Central. Aye aye, Captain! <laughs> Salty was looking forward to seeing James. Ahoy there, James! What's the issue? The trucks held me back and I'm stuck and... I left my brake fan behind when you told me to wait. Don't fret, matey. I have a trick up my radiator. Before James could say anything, Salty started singing a sea shanty. James wondered how this was going to help, but suddenly the trucks started singing along. As the trucks were engaged to the shanty, two engines started moving up the hill. The musical train travelled along the branch line all the way up to Wellsworth, where they found a brake fan waiting for James. Once he was coupled up, he carried on his way and whistled Salty a thank you as he left. Salty felt very content with himself. That evening, Salty was surprised to see James resting in one of the dockyard sidings. But I feel like a pirate who's just found some treasure. What brings you here, land lover? I've come to say, I'm sorry for being so rude to you. And thank you for helping me out with the trucks. I'm amazed singing could help them behave. Well, I do like working to a musical rhythm. And so do trucks. That's what I discovered when I first worked in Southampton. And thank you for your apology, matey. You know, Salty, I wish all diesels were like you. And I'm glad we've got an engine on Soda like you. It really makes Soda a warmer place, especially when you show off your splendid red paint. That, from James, is high praise indeed. Both are now great friends. Whenever James sees Salty at the docks, he always gives a big hello on his whistle. And if he ever stays overnight at the docks, or needs some time before his next train, Salty will always tell James his tales of the sea. And there is no more talk from James complaining about diesels. To Salty, at least.